from the NBC26 Precision Forecast Center, meteorologist Brian Nisnansky. All right, before the ice, we had the snow yesterday afternoon and evening. Most spots about two to four inches of snow. And as we go through the list here, you can see uh, Lena at four inches of snow in O'Connell County, New London at four inches of snow. Going down the list, uh, Darboy at 3.8 inches of snow. At the National Weather Service in Neshwabadan, we had uh, 3.2 inches of snow. Marinette also at three inches. Now, again, this morning, we got some icy roads. Again, very, very slick in many locations, especially to the north where we still have a winter weather advisory until 9 a.m. this morning. And you can see, for the most part, the precipitation is coming to an end. However, what's not being picked up here on radar is a very fine mist or drizzle this morning, adding to already uh, some very slick roads from the ice overnight. So again, uh, to go along with the icy roads, we also have a little bit of fog to contend with. Might as well throw the fog in here. You can see uh, visibility down to around a mile and a half in Appleton, two miles in Green Bay. To sum it all up, Again, allow yourselves some few, a few extra minutes this morning. Lower your speeds on the roads. Now, the good news, temperatures are uh, crawling above freezing in many spots. 33 degrees, uh, a degree above freezing here in Green Bay, right at freezing in Appleton. So, again, icy as we look down uh, College Avenue this morning. Now, across northeastern Wisconsin, give or take a degree or two, you're right around freezing. It's right at freezing in Cribbits at 32, uh, below freezing in Marinette at 30, uh, 32 in Appleton, but above freezing in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac with temperatures at 34 degrees. But it doesn't matter where you are, again, uh, you may encounter some ice on the roads. Now, as we look across the Midwest here, check out the surge of warm air down to the south. It's 52 degrees in Kansas City, and we're going to look for some of that warmth to head up towards us. I don't think we'll hit 52, but I think certainly some upper 40s, uh, not out of question as we head into tomorrow. We're going with the high of 48 uh, here in Green Bay, and then the temperatures plummet through the day on Friday. 28 your high on, on Wednesday, excuse me. Uh, Wednesday, your high is 28. That'll be in the morning and then falling through the afternoon. Eight degrees only for your high on Thursday. So a big swing in temperatures here. Let's go through your forecast highlights. Again, we have the slick roads out there this morning. That's first things first. Now, again, climbing temperatures as we head through the day today and into tomorrow. That'll help out the situation with the roads. And again, uh, we're going to look for more rain tonight. Then some more snow and then some more cold. As we break it down here, we got one storm system exiting, a break in the action here across the Great Lakes and Midwest, and then another storm system will arrive uh, later on tonight. Here's four o'clock in the afternoon on Precision Cast. We're dry here. Late tonight, well after midnight into tomorrow morning, we'll look for another batch of rain, maybe some freezing rain to move in early tomorrow morning, and then showers through the day tomorrow. And then as we head into Wednesday, we're going to watch yet another area of low pressure to the south. This one could bring some snow on Wednesday. Day. Your forecast for today, fog and drizzle early, otherwise mostly cloudy and mild, a high of 38. Again, that temperature climbing well above freezing, improving our road conditions. 33 for tonight. Look out for, again, some more rain or freezing rain, and then snow in the forecast on Wednesday, and then comes the cold again. Uh, you name it, we got it in the forecast this week. 8 degrees on Thursday, 7 on Friday. Even last night, I don't know if you caught it, Jennifer, the lightning with the sleet and the snow we had last night. We had thunder snow, which is very, very rare up here. I've never heard of that and yeah. I didn't even hear the thunder last night. It I was must have slept through it. Yeah, there were some spots that, that, that you know saw a lot more than others, especially there was one flash. I'm trying to think of what time it was. It lit up the sky. It was amazing. And of course you were yeah. up watching. Yeah. Oh That's I was so great. Yeah.